Well, Ian Dyer, uh, we never win on Tuesdays, do we? <laughs> well, put, put that one to bed, hasn't it? So, um, uh, listen, the boys were fantastic tonight. It's, um, we knew we'd have to be very, very good against a team like Bromley. You know, fantastic side, great manager. Um, we'll do well in the league this season, obviously high-flying in the league. So, um, to get anything out of the game, we knew we'd have to play really well. And I think we have done. And I think we were, um, you know, I think we're deserving winners in the end, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I think I, I think I'd agree. I mean, I think I mean Bromley are a big side, aren't they? They're also very well organised and up front. You can tell they've got that bit of class up front. They? they are, yeah. We, we we briefed the boys before the game, and one of the things we we said actually very organised team, very hard working team, big physical side, uh, well drilled, well well coached, obviously, and um and they will cause you problems. And, and we knew we'd have to defend a lot of crosses, a lot of throws into the box today. Um, the way we've conceded the goal is a disappointing thing because we talked about um, the lad Coulson coming inside. So disappointed with that one. But I thought other than that, we limited them to very few chances, which is hard to do because they're top, you know, a top goal scoring team in this league. And, um, you know, and I think, like I said, defensively, we were very good and, and we had quality at the other end of the pitch as well. So I mean, going down, you know, one goal down against the league leaders is a big ask anyway. And it, it was a great strike, wasn't it? It zipped off the pitch and... Uh, as you say, disappointing to give it away, but it, it, the game was pretty even at that point, wasn't it? It'd been end to end. Yeah, it was. I actually probably think we started the better team, maybe edged the, the early exchanges, you know, without really threatening to score. But I think we, we kind of we looked quite organised and a bit of a sucker punch. The way the goal was coming about, like I said, we talked about that specifically, which was disappointing. But the way we reacted was good, and I think the one thing this the one thing this team showed this season is a lot of character. You know, when their backs are against the wall and when they've uh, goals down, they, they've come back and they've done it lots of times this year to t turn the results around. And uh, I did think that the incident just in front of the bench maybe got everyone going and the tempo of the game suddenly changed and lifted going into the half. And um, great to score, you know, just before half time. And I think that gave the boys a lot of confidence at half time to come out and push for the winner. And it was a great strike. I mean, it was Dave Tarpey down the middle, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. It was where he, you know he often has played, and that was a. The sort of Tarpy goal that yeah. we saw years ago, yeah. really. I mean, trademark Tarpy that when we when we got him in, that's the reason because you get him in front of goal like that and, and you back him to score every time. And um, he will score goals. He has scored goals. And whether he's playing right or down the, the middle, um, he gets himself into those positions. It was the same on Saturday where he's unlucky not to get a goal or two, and and the same tonight. And, and like I said, he's, he's got that quality. And um, you know, really pleased for him the way the way he tucked it away. Great finish. And the winning goal for Woking, good work by Jamal Loza, and then that ball in, and it was almost like a, a Jake Hyde against Swindon type goal, wasn't it? That glance, he's, yeah. he's deadly like that, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, and also Rossi, I mean, Rossi's not only oh, seen course. Loza's run, but he's picked him out and, and played an 80-yard ball, which is difficult to do, but goalkeepers train for that these days, and it gives us another weapon, but, you know, counter-attack started with him, and great bit of play from Loza, he's, he's devastating 1v1 when he gets people kind of in those areas in the box, and Heidi does what Heidi does best. Listen, he's, he's you know, I think that's his 11th for the season. Here, tell me 12th. But, um, you know, <laughs> he scores them and he, he predominantly scores them in the box by being at the right place at the right time. And that's not a coincidence. You know, his movement's great. He's a very um, clinical finisher and he's, um, you know, he's very clever when he's in around the box as well. So you'd back him to score. And Craig Ross, as you say, Craig Ross's kick, it was noticeable when the goal was scored. At least four or five of the players went yeah. straight to Craig to yeah. congratulate him. Well, that's him. where it came from. You know, he, he's seen the, A, he's seen the run, but it's one thing seeing it to deliver it the way he did, you know, over the fullback shoulder and for Jams to run onto without breaking stride is a, a difficult skill. But it's one he works on, obviously, when Matty went on the training ground, so it's good when it comes off like that. And you could, there was an onslaught of long, long throws in the second half, and uh, we could say, oh, that's easy, but. We've seen enough as Woking fans in the last few years to know long throws are not easy to defend, but we were relatively comfortable against them, weren't we? We, we look comfortable, and, and it's difficult on the bench to feel comfortable because you know it only takes one coming in the box against a side like this who attack the ball really well, and like I said, we're well drilled and well organised from things like that. But we highlighted it with the boys at the start of the game, we gave them individual markers and, and people that they were going to be um, responsible for marking, and, and they did that. And, and like I said, other than the goal, there was one or two bits where the ball was pinging around the box, but we didn't really look like we were going to concede another one, which, again, says a lot about our defensive shape, the organisation, but also you know, the aggressiveness we showed in the air to go and attack headers and, and win second balls as well, which is, which is you know, key to doing well in this league. 
we've conceded a few late goals this season and also I know Barrow have scored quite a lot of late goals this season to sort of so it, it was good game management wasn't it it end? was yeah it was and you have that little spell where we were talking on the bench about whether to change it and maybe bring a couple of subs on to um, to, to maybe tighten it up a bit you then obviously might lose a bit of momentum and, and a bit of attacking threat so it's sometimes a difficult balance when you're only one goal to the good so um, I thought we managed that quite well um, Poku ran out of steam and his groin was really tight so we were kind of forced into that one they've came in and did well and, and the same with Loza he'd got through a lot of work so we felt Max just coming on and, and seeing the game out on that side and the last couple of minutes we, we managed it well in the corner as well which you know shows good experience and um, you know to get us over the line Well brilliant effort fourth in the table on to Boreham Wood We'll be seeing Neil Smith at the Legends Night on Friday, so that that will be fun. But no, congratulations, congratulations to you and all the boys. It was a great result. Cheers. Thanks very much.